Oh. Let's go. Let this it go. We, we could just say, hey, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back for another episode of Ultimate Chicken Horse. You know, like how we used to intro our videos for the last three years. It's off brand. Yeah. Uh, not for me, but that's fair <laughs> enough. 2017 has been a transformative year. It's been a let's go year. I, I've heard. So, uh, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Let's uh, go. You know. I Let's went where the already... question mark was. Oh, that's a oh, good idea. Yeah, fair enough. I, we I thought we had played Old Mansion, but we haven't because we just we Volcanic Quested it. Oh, we did Volcanic Quest it, yeah. We also just said we were going to do custom levels for the first one and then immediately didn't. I don't oh, like the custom. But that's on well, brand. We, we only had two, though. What did you just call it? <laughs> the Custis? The Custis. General we Custis. We only did two. There could be more better ones. More better. Yeah. You know, technically, I think that might be still grammatically correct in that scenario. More, more better. There's a queen. Hey, I was no, riding no. that elevator for 200 years. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Wait, can I get that though? You can try. <laughs> Fuck. I nope. want to jump Let's right off. back to where we left off and hear Rob's story about third grade yeah. or whatever. Oh, Miss Adler? Yeah, what's uh, up with Miss Adler? So she was Did a lady who... Uh, no, she was like, a, you know, huh? <laughs> Miss Adler? Oh, I get oh, it. Oh, yeah. she played ads and mid roll ads all the time. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's got it. What year? How old were you? I was fourth grade. I don't know how old I was, but uh, the. So she fucking hated me. And now you may think, but Rob, how can you know uh, that she. You try so hard, but she tore on your feelings like you had none and then ripped them away. She yes. fucking hates me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I got you. Josh, she fucking hates me. But, uh, so no, she she actually straight up hated me. And my mother would not believe me for the whole time that I was saying, because I would get bad grades on essays and stuff, right? Uh, and I, w I would do, you know, my, my best, and I would get, like, a 12. Like, I would get, a, like, a super failing That's grade. very low. That's yeah, and I, would, mark. and I would be like, I, I don't know what I can possibly do better, right? My mother would not believe me. She would believe this lady. Uh, and so, <laughs> so basically, I one like the mid story, <laughs> nefarious laugh. Well, be okay, so this is how fucking crazy this lady was. So what she started doing is she started calling my mom. So she called her initially to talk about how much of a shitty kid I was. Yeah. And then she just started calling her to just gossip. Mm. And my mom di didn't really want to be her friend. Uh, so that was a whole odd scenario. Um, it's like the cable guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty much, kind of actually. Forced the whole situation. That's weird. And then and then uh, so th she had this other thing where she would uh, she would give out this this fake currency to the whole cl to, 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 to the class. Oh, right. Like you did a good thing. Yeah, that's a legal like a joke. You, <laughs> you get like a fake dollar or something, right? And you could use that to buy candy or, you know, like a little toy or some shit. I saw whatever. one dude on the subreddit bought a Mercedes with it. Yeah, exactly. And so, um... <laughs> that was Did wonderful. I? Yeah, nice jump. All right. Yeah. Too easy. No points. But sometimes she would just decide, like, she was being generous and she would give out a dollar to the whole class. Except it's, for me. It's kind of like modding <laughs> with, like, those loyalty points in Twitch chat now. Mm-hmm. Except she would give it out to everybody except for one Twitch chatter, and that was me. I and... should have been better at chatting. <laughs> and so my mother didn't oh. believe me the whole time until I was like, Ma, look, I, I'm, I'm just not going to do this project. Hey, because... Ma! <laughs> because, uh, like, I'm not going to do this project because it doesn't matter what I write. I'm going to fail. And she wouldn't believe me. So it was a it was a fourth grade project on silverback gorillas. <laughs> My mother, a 30-something-year-old woman, wrote a fourth-grade project on silverback gorillas with source images and, like, a bunch of, you know, a bunch of crazy shit in it. She failed. And then, at that point, my mom finally believed me that the lady hated me. Did she confront the lady? Um, I don't remember, actually. I'm not sure. I thought you told me just, in like, the past that she head, did. Though. She might have, actually, she, yeah. She died. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm not a man to wish death on people, but fuck Miss Adler. This one goes out to you, Miss Adler. 
Yeah. It really I don't know messes what I was kids up when uh, you treat them like that. I had to go to therapy. Like she, that's, she trained me going to therapy. It's a lot of power to wield over a kid that they don't understand how to fix the situation, nor can they. And who hates a fourth grader? Yeah, uh, that's really weird. That well, sounds like, like the sequel to that uh, game show. <laughs> Are you smarter than a fifth grader? And who hates and a fourth also, grader? Who, who <laughs> hates a fourth grader? The fifth grader. Yeah. I think last I checked, she was still teaching at that school. Oh, so, oh, like, you know, she's been punished enough then. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. That lady oh, was a total like fucking jerk, and I, I hate had... her. Like, every grade we would have that one teacher that everybody hated, but I don't yeah. think we ever had, like, a teacher that just targeted other people. Yeah. It was just, like, they, they targeted everyone. Like, we had this real, like, this 70-year-old lady who just literally was a caricature of, like, uh, just, just angry English teacher, angry old English teacher. She did all the things like that cartoon teachers would do. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, you know, draw attention to this, but I said the word wrong. You guys ever notice that in all these stories, teacher's a woman. I think maybe the problem <laughs> lies with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say that like we're we're inselling the situation? I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to say that maybe you guys just don't know how to talk to the ladies. Nah, there's you plenty. Know, right. There was plenty bad mail. Like Mr. Edwards was a fucking asshole. Everyone hated John Mr. Edwards. Edwards. John, I don't know. What his well, name I hated him too. Yeah. It was just Mr. Edwards. Just fuck. He was like Squidward. That that should have been Mr. his nickname. Squidward. Mr. Squidward. <laughs> Mr. Squidward. I wish I was clever enough back then to think of that. Hey, but. cat. You can't be here. You're being ornery. Get out Who do you guys think is like a, a a more morally reprehensible person, John Edwards or uh, Joel Austin? Uh, Joel Austin. I don't have enough uh, information to give you that. John Edwards is John, John Edwards is the congressman, right? No, not the congressman. The, the other guy. Man. That's also awesome. yeah. That's John Edward. Oh, oh, he's the John guy Edwards okay. is the congressman who ran as uh, John Kerry's vice oh, that's president. That's a tough question. Uh, yeah, and right. So that's later, what I mean. I don't it know. Came out that he was cheating on his wife while she was getting chemotherapy. I, okay, I mean, that's pretty morally reprehensible, but I feel like it's not as so morally reprehensible as the either of the two parties. Maybe I changed I, the question to be John Edward versus John Edwards. Versus Joel Austin. Versus, versus Joel Austin. Okay, yeah. Okay, we can put all three. I'm, I'm fine with that. Who's I'm, I'm just struggling with this one. I think John Edward is worse, but like Joel Osteen like fucked with more people on a larger scale. So I don't know. Yeah. What about Creflo Dollar? Is it a Star Wars bounty hunter? <laughs> He's a televangelist. Uh, there's also this one guy, another televangelist, is just bragging about how he owns a jet. And then he was saying, well, I, after I bought my jet, I went and I bought another jet that was four times as much. And then he was basically saying, like, are you a hater? Like, you, you should be proud of me. I saw a video like that where he went, like, have you ever flown on a commercial airliner? It's like a haven of godlessness and sin. I was like... It's like, it's the most I've ever agreed with the televangelist. <laughs> and at the same time, it doesn't mean you can just buy yeah. your own plane. It's that yeah. prosperity gospel thing. It's basically set up so people send the money. Yeah. So you guys are firmly in the in the Joel Austin camp then? I Again, I don't really have enough information, but I mean, that's my gut, yeah. Do you I know think... what John Edward did? What his whole spiel was? Lied to people and told them he yeah. could communicate with their dead relatives. Yeah, I yeah. think that's worse. But like, I think that might be worse. I think that's worse. I agree with you. Or alledgedly lied to people no, and I, told them it's true. We, we can't <laughs> prove that. Wasn't he didn't it not alleged? I thought they had uh, documentation that they they proved there were people spying in the audience that used information, or they uh, had cameras I, or audio recording. Well, if they don't have a warrant, that's pretty shoddy police work. <laughs> right. Now you can't pin a, pin a conviction on him. Right, yeah. Have we just been forgetting about this elevator? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just distracted. No! Yeah, that's a lot easier from that side. Yeah. I kind of want a wrecking ball where it doesn't kill you, that you can ride it. That fun. sounds pretty cool, yeah. Like a swing. Yeah, like a, a swing. 
Swing and a swing. Swing and a swing. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh. if that's so easy, then let's just, you know, I mean, I can't kill both of them. No, you don't get that, actually. I, that's why I put it there, so you can blow it up. Barring the two worst crimes that we are yeah, aware of. Yeah, I'm familiar with what the two you worst crimes are. You know what I'm talking are. about. Yeah. yeah. Who, what el who else would you put on that list of, like, most morally reprehensible people? There's just so many terrible people in the world, I can't even There think. are a lot. Um, so we're not uh, putting, like, literal murderers on there. Yeah, not murderers, yeah. yeah. No, I, I re the question is not good for for conversation. I'll answer it. Okay. okay. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Oh, sorry. You said no murderers. <laughs> you doubled down. I think I see where oh. you're going with this. You did the twofer. Yeah. Uh, the little Dude, literal the moral line? sanctity of our country will be over in two days. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God damn it. I died to the propeller. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> He's down. Ride this elevator. It's yeah, getting the elevator is just super easy. I don't know. I don't know why none of us. Yeah, no, that wasn't doing. funny. <laughs> are you like preemptively shitting on your chat? Or yeah, I have to do it. Oh no! I need to do that so somebody goes. Oh, it's a satire, so everything is defensible. <laughs> oh man! Isn't it a shame that we live in an age where? Choose your next words wisely, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dead stop. I just wanted to start a sentence that you know could only go in a bad place. <laughs> okay, you accomplish that. Yeah. There's only one place that sentence is going. Which is a straight to the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's ice! I didn't Why? see the ice! Oh my god! Oh, well, Ryan, uh. You just ride the airplanes. Million. 10 million paper planes. What's the paper? I don't remember what the paper plane song is. It goes, All I wanna do is kung 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 and a ching ka and take your no! money. No! Oh, you're right, yeah. He's done it with the solo. Get me out. The solo did it. The solo dunk did it. All I wanna do is poop. It's a good song. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. It got a little like, go. overexposed back in 2007, but a little. I think he it says. specifically got overexposed by uh, the movie. What Pineapple Express. Yeah, Pineapple Pinnacle. Express. Pinnacle Express? Pinnacle, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Express. Oh yeah, we're gonna... Oh, no. What do we want I mean, to I'm, do? I'm, I'm, voting, I'm voting for the. I'm voting for the for the for the. We railroad. haven't done. We haven't done pyramid yet. The suspension oh. bridge looks like it's straight up like uh, that other one that we play. Rooftops. We... Yeah, it's similar to rooftops, but the, not rooftops. Them giving us a taste of two more new levels makes me just wish they made like ten more levels instead yeah, of just two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like ten more levels. Although the custom levels still could yeah. potentially fill that void. I don't like the custies. Yeah, but you know, we only played two. No, custies are all bad. That's what we've learned. <laughs> yep. No more custies, please. I made a custy, but the platforms are faces. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Look, I didn't like that one either, all right? <laughs> Nick is so smart, he's going to beat us. Nope, nope. I'm not smart, and I'm going to die is actually the reality mm -hmm. here. No! Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Is that the Skype laugh chain video? Hey, All right, yeah. Day. Oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Was it worth it? Oh yeah, uh, man, yeah, speaking yeah. of old memes, you guys remember the dancing baby? Dude, oh, yeah. man, for real. That's one of the first videos I ever saw. Yeah. Wait, it I, was probably in a gift. I actually. just saw a picture in my eye of Dan <laughs> Sinvicta baby dancing baby. I can't get to sleep. Nick. I just saw a picture in my eye. <laughs> Come on. Eye. As if I didn't say anything after that. <laughs> what 
picture Fine. in my eye. It's a moving platform. You have to yeah. come to grips with the fact that I say things weirdly all the time. God damn it. And that's not surprising or new news to you. He's so good. What the fuck? It's Played true. a lot of platformers in my day. Yeah, but he also didn't get first, so. Yeah, but I did it. I was the intersection of first and style points, which according to Champions of Fire rules is how you determine a winner. <laughs> Depends on the minute. <laughs> Depends on the minion. Ooh. Wouldn't that be cool? Very Have you 106 percented Super Me Boy? Dude, what, what do you think the over-under is on there already being a minion-based custom level in <laughs> Ultimate Chicken Horse? It's the game that's hard to pick up and impossible to put down. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What does the hard to pick up part mean on that? They might have said easy to pick up, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. That would make more sense. Yeah, how because... would it be hard to pick up? <laughs> it's like, is there like an EU4 learning curve with minion, <laughs> minion rush? Well, you know, if without besmirching... And I mean, the check hasn't cleared yet, but like <laughs> there's a little bit of a learning curve when you spend all your practice trying to get the highest score. And then it turns out they're going to score it by whoever gets the most <laughs> bananas, which makes no friggin sense. But you know, yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all, especially in a game that has a high <laughs> score that is tracked. Yeah, there's like a score on the screen. <laughs> but then there's also I mean, you can pick up the bananas yeah. as well is the thing. So and I don't begrudge them that. See, I wanted to actually bring this up, and I never got to. What do minions have to do with bananas? Oh, we asked that to each other all the time. I said, because they're both yellow. I thought in the movie they go like, banana. Wait, they might uh, actually do that, yeah. No, that's Donkey Kong. <laughs> remember. Oh, banana. Donkey Kong. <laughs> you guys ever watched the Donkey Kong Country cartoon? Absolutely, yeah. It's Wait, another Canadian show. There was. I, you know what? You've told me that. I'm just making sure you guys know that Canada is responsible for mm. your entire childhood. Was, In fact, there is a possibility yeah. that you have told me that before on an Ultimate Chicken Horse. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think. I think. I think it might have happened. I'm just saying, without Canada and Japan, you would have been watching WKRP in Cincinnati reruns. Andrew WKRP. Andrew hey, sometimes ARP. when he plays RuneScape. But. Dun, 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 dun. Is he going to change his name when he goes into a retirement home to Andrew AARP? Uh, did you say retirement? retirement? <laughs> 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 he said the word wrong. I said it wrong. Now Was you have to pay. With the wrong word meta. Yeah. No. It's not far enough, to be honest. What we you. should do is create some sort of a he said the word wrong jar. And then Ooh, okay. assemble a fund every time so, someone does it. And then at the end of the month, everyone gets that money. Whoever wins, <laughs> just split. Everyone it. gets the money. Really. Yeah. What if we all put in a bunch of money? <laughs> and then just, jar, just give, give it away. And then it, at the end of the month, we all split it. It's the perfect <laughs> best strategy. <laughs> You Can never know. Cryptocurrency? It might be great. <laughs> let's let's oh, ask man. our accountants what they think. Maybe it's a great idea. I don't know. Okay, so look, I know you guys are lukewarm on the idea of making a cult, which I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, I never said that. Did you ask oh, me okay. that? I did several times. Yeah, no. No, all why the time. wouldn't I want to make a cult? You get free tax-free shelter status. That's see, this is all the things that I'm all down it's for. It's also but... real easy. Yeah. You just have so, to prove a sincerely held belief and then have an assembly place. I've actually mm -hmm. looked into it already. It's not very complicated. I think there's, <laughs> I think you have to meet six criteria out of a list of like 11 or something. That sounds it's pretty cool. Canada. Yeah, that's true. You guys score by 11 in Canada? I mean, if, if there's 11 questions, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure there's many times you've scored by 11 in America as well. So, so anyway, my tangent was... Yeah, uh, what was your tangent? Uh, let's make a cryptocurrency instead. I don't want to make a cryptocurrency. <laughs> but we could. We have the easiest job on planet Earth. Yeah, but we could have an easier job. <laughs> Is it easier to make a cryptocurrency well, than to play video games? I think the Probably idea not be, at first. What? Once it starts snowballing, you just kind of wait, and then you just yeah. win. 
That's kind of my strategy for this whole YouTube and Twitch thing, though. <laughs> How do you get a Bitcoin? Like, what is a Bitcoin? What is it? It's like... You have to harvest I... Vespine gas, and then you run it through a <laughs> GTX 970, uh, which turns it into Ethereum, and then you yeah. rub the Ethereum over a series of hot coals, which then uh, form uh, the first part of the forgeable ore. Uh, you then use the forgeable ore to uh, combine with a tincture... Uh, that then eventually leads to the Bitcoin uh, becoming mined. So you, you see, when a libertarian <laughs> and a programmer <laughs> love each other very much. So I got flamed last time I tried to explain this, but this is from the best of my knowledge and could be wrong in parts or entirely. But from what I have read, essentially how it works is Bitcoins are generated through transactions, right? So like if someone say no more <laughs> So if someone wants to say trade a Bitcoin for some product or something, right? They don't that do goes that. through yeah, their literally has not happened since the year 2014 <laughs> <laughs> Well, but if, if somebody wants to trade buy a Bitcoin from somebody and somebody's selling or you know, whatever what have you, right? Uh, all of that goes through a blockchain which is uh, Cairo now, Cedro's domain. Yes. The, the way that Bitcoin remains, like, you know, safe is that a lot of people, quote unquote, mining Don't have, have maps. And... <laughs> a lot of people mining have to confirm that transaction took place, which is why it takes a lot of. Uh, Wait, are uh, you just going to go power. right over what a blockchain is? Because that seems like important information, actually. It's like it's essentially just like how all of Bitcoin works. It's like the whole the combined wallet and the all of the all of the Bitcoiny coins. So it strikes high, low, high, mid, and you block high, low, high, mid, and then you get a Bitcoin. Basically, if you're the person who logs that transaction, like you're the one that the block that the thing chooses, yeah. you get a you get a Bitcoin. You get wow. compensated. Yeah. So mining is essentially like you're 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 using your processing power to keep track of all the transactions. Oh. Okay. There was okay. a guy in Corey's chat. What's a Bitcoin? And I <laughs> I believe him, by the yeah. way, because the meteoric rise of Bitcoin makes this plausible even if a re let me put it this way. If someone just came into our chat and was like, "Yeah, I got 15 million dollars in cash." We'd be like, "Shut the fuck up." No, you <laughs> This guy, he was like, I have X bitcoins, and I ran the number, and I was like, my dude, you got $15 million in Bitcoin. Can I ask you something? Why don't you sell yesterday and live like a king forever? And yeah. he was like, this is, I don't have the mentality to be in Bitcoin. He's like, well, why would I sell at 15 million when this time next year it could be 200 million? And I was like, more power to you, my dude. <laughs> as soon as I got... Again, that's why I would never invest in Bitcoin. As soon as it doubled in value, I would be out and I would brag about it forever. And you'd be no, really I, sad if I had you got a thousand dollars, fucking million dollars. I don't care about two hundred million. That's my perspective as well. Who the I would fuck like would to care think, about two hundred? I, oh, I guess I can buy a seven hundred Ferrari. Oh, great! <laughs> I think what you need to like, if you're going to be investing in that, you have to. I can't move again, by the way. But uh. <laughs> I think you have to like set a point where you'd say like this is my absolute I'm gonna sell at this point well, and that is that man. is that 15 million for you guys 15 million is where you're it, no, it would be million. like it would be less if I It'd bought like a thousand bitcoins at a hundred dollars each when it hit 500 bucks I'm out <laughs> yeah I mean that's a lot of money you know, if I why... say I want less than Ryan do I get mine instead of him <laughs> Yeah, it's the price is right. Okay, then I'll this go is lower. Why I'm scared of, this is why I'm scared of Bitcoin popping. And I'm not an economist, but I fundamentally understand human greed because I live it on a daily basis. Yeah. Everybody in Bitcoin is like, you stupid idiot, selling it at 10 times the in initial investment <laughs> you put in, like some kind of conservative moron. It's just not conceivable that <laughs> it'll go up forever. Yeah. Well... I my it brain is, is just like, who is out there that doesn't have lots of money that looks at $15 million and goes, yeah, I'm going to risk that. That's just. <sighs> well, but see, here's the thing. Like, no. if you. So when I, when I, like, like, if I, if I go to a casino and I sit down at a poker table, 
when I put Why down a hundred bucks in chips, the only way I, I I believe the only way that you can look at that money is that I have just spent a hundred. No, but that's so actually stupid when it comes to investing. <laughs> in a casino, it makes sense because you're gambling. But yeah. in a, when you're investing and you like, if you sat down at the poker no, table with a hundred bucks and then you you played for a year and you had fifteen million dollars, yeah, and then you lost it, you're not gonna be like, well. No, no, but my point is, when I <laughs> my, really my, only lost a hundred bucks in the end. <laughs> well, my point is though that like, say it starts dropping, right? Yeah. You're gonna be able, like, even if, it, if even if you got fifteen million right now, if it starts dropping and you're getting scared and you try to sell it, oh, maybe you yeah. miss out on like a million, two million dollars or something, right? But like, it's not like you lost that money because you didn't invest. Two million dollars. You invested like a hundred bucks. So if you wanted to ride it out and you ended up not making as much as you could have, is it really that big of a deal? Isn't the fear though not that you're gonna make two million less, but that you're gonna make fifteen million less? Like you're gonna wake up one day because human beings sleep and the market will have collapsed. <laughs> Do you think you think it would happen that quickly? I don't know. It may could it? I don't fucking know how it works. It's like the most volatile. And I'm not because I know that there's there's Bitcoin evangelists and they know like a million times more about this than I do. But yeah. it's the most volatile asset I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Like it went yesterday, and we recorded this on like Sunday, it went from like 14,000 to 16,000, down to 12,000, back up to 13,000 in one yeah. day. It's like Steam it's like, trading cards. Yeah, like your net worth, <laughs> yeah. if it was all in Bitcoin, would have gone down like 40% and then returned to what it was the day before, which is still like triple what it was a year ago or something, but still yeah. like, I just, I, See, I don't look at like, once you're at like a certain threshold of money, I just don't think you need to be worrying about making more money unless you're the I'm, CEO of a company or something. I mean, you know, I those people don't need more money. If I'm sitting in Twitch chat and I'm like, yeah, I got $50 million, but I don't really need it right now. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you could probably live on 15 million for this. You probably. absolutely could. You know, the <laughs> average person makes like $1.2 million over the course of their whole life or something. Uh, yeah. So well, could you live off 10 times that delivered in one lump sum? How old well, is that how, figure, how, though? Because I feel like with inflation, it's got to be more than that by now. I, I don't... I no. mean, it may be like 1.5, but like... Mm. Say I live to what? 65. Minus my current age. <laughs> Dream big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being realistic with myself. Uh, say I live to I 36. So you, okay, you, so you work to 65. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sense. work to 65. There we go. 18 to 65. I, I still think I'm gonna die then, but like, okay, 15 million. <laughs> well, then you can definitely by. live off whatever you have at 65. <laughs> 38 years, I would, yeah, no, I could definitely live off 15 million for that. If you make, if you <laughs> make $40,000 $40, a, a year, year. If you make $40,000 $40, a year, which is respectable. Yeah. Um, well, it used to be anyway. Um, <laughs> and you worked from the age of 18 to the age of 65, mm -hmm. you would, before taxes, yeah. have yeah. 1.9 million. I was going to add why you that. Said before, you said before taxes as if you're going to get money from tax. Oh. I was going <laughs> to add, <laughs> Rob, that you have to factor in the fact that the government isn't going to tax you at all because so you have so much low. income. Mm, that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing, I mean, we're getting like up our own butts here, but like the other thing is like, you wouldn't just take, if you had $15 million, you wouldn't just take $300,000 a year. True. Yeah, would, you know, put it in an investment that's safe and yields like a few percent annually. And I already be, why would you? I would just take half of it and put it back into Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> Factor in that you'll get an accountant who will embezzle a shitload of money from you also, and you're going to have to deal with that. Mm, it's even that, though, I would still do that. Like, instead of just staring at it, like, yeah. I mean, even if you cut it in half, if I was making $200,000 a year, I could definitely easily live. Even with inflation, there's no way that $200,000 a year is ever going to be too little money. You got to get into God, pro like gaming, though. That's like a house per year. You could buy a house every year. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If you were so just really good enough. at Dota, this would think, be no problem. I think people literally just don't get money. Like, I'm with Dan. Yeah. Like, I think Dan said the same thing. Like, you have someone who sees $15 million and goes, oh, man, I really wish that was $200 million. And then you see <laughs> someone who sees $15 million and goes, all right, I can buy whatever the fuck I want for the rest of my life. I'm set. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That's true. Well, anyway, so, thanks for watching. Yeah, if anybody's got a couple Bitcoins they want to toss over our way, then uh, <laughs> by all means. That's the other thing is, like, 
the Bitcoin community, they're very generous. Like the, the guy who came into Corey's chat was like, hey, do you have a Bitcoin wallet? I want to shoot you like a, a fraction of a Bitcoin. That and is I was awesome. like, I was like, man, what an <laughs> you're like you're very generous, but also just though you're not really making me feel like you're a good investor. <laughs> <laughs> a good investor goes like, hey, oh, Amazon's up 10% today. Hey, random person, here's an Amazon share. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's college fund or something. Maybe this is just like a fundamental misunderstanding of what makes a person a good investor. But I feel like even though Bitcoin has panned out incredibly well, is buying like bajillions of Bitcoins like, like 20 years ago or whatever, however long Bitcoins <laughs> lasted, does that make you a good investor because you struck gold? Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. <laughs> Click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye. bye.